This is a nine-year-old female who presented for worsening upper and lower extremity weakness and paresthesias approximately two weeks following an upper respiratory tract infection. The images demonstrate marked fusiform enlargement of the cervical and upper thoracic spinal cord on the sagittal T1-weighted images with diffuse cord edema throughout the cervical spinal region and centered within the central medullary substance in the upper to mid-thoracic spinal region. On diffusion-weighted images, there is prominent diffusion restriction confirmed on the ADC map compatible with cord infarction. No suspicious enhancement at the sites at those sites are identified on the post-contrast images. The imaging findings given the state of clinical history and absence of other T2 hyperintense lesions within the brain or thoracic spinal region are classic for transverse myelitis. Transverse myelitis occurrences peak between 10 and 19 as well as 30 and 39 years of age. No gender predilection has been noted. Clinical symptoms are bilateral and include para or quadriparesis, sensory impairment, and bowel and bladder dysfunction. Both idiopathic and secondary causes have been described. Secondary causes include prior infection, most commonly viral, post-vaccination, autoimmune, and in the setting of systemic malignancy. Treatment depends on the underlying cause, but immunomodulators such as steroids or plasma exchange therapy may be helpful.